Oh, I know. I love this hat. And did you see this one, too? It's really special. Look at that. Oh, my grandson will love that. Well, we have lots of kids' sizes, too. Oh, great. <laughs> You know, I think I have the perfect hat for you. You want to come check it out? That one. <laughs> oh, hi, Mr. Bowers. Can I help you with anything? Oh, no, I just love coming into the store, seeing the customers enjoying the merchandise. It's what it's all about. <laughs> I agree. It's my favorite part, too. And how are you handling things here? Well, I'll admit, we've been a little busy. Oh, and I'm working on those invoices for you. Sorry. There's no need to explain me. I know you've been trying to pick up the slack ever since George left us, and I appreciate it. In fact, I have been meaning to talk to you about that. Really? Stop by my office tomorrow morning. I have some ideas about the future of the company I would like to run by you. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas to me. <laughs> it's only October, dear. Oh, yeah, no, I, I know. I was just, <laughs> well, it is always Christmas here at Hats Off. <laughs> here, let me ring these up for you. Oh, you got the light up one. Great. Hi, kiddo. for me for dinner? Mom, I tried, really, for 10 whole minutes, but I just got too hungry. It's OK. I appreciate the sacrifice. Hey, I'm going to go tell Ellie bye, and then I'll come back and join you, OK? Hey. Hey. You made dinner? What would I do without you? Oh, you know, if you'd agree to just meet my boss, you wouldn't meet me at all. I told you, I don't want to be a market research analyst. OK, yes, I admit that sounds dry. It does, yeah. yeah. But you're good with numbers and merchandise, and you know what customers like. I think you'd really take to it. And then you could make your own hours and spend more time at home with Scotty. Well, thank you. But I think I might be getting a better job down at the store. Really? Yeah, Mr. Bauer said he wants to talk to me about the future of the company. I don't know, I feel like I'm, I'm finally getting my chance at upper management. Oh, well, it's about time. <sighs> and you completely deserve it. Thank you. Now go get out of here and go have your own life. I'm gonna go eat dinner with my son and then pass out from exhaustion. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> See the boss. I am. Would you like me to pass on a message? Yeah. Let's make Friday donuts an everyday thing. <laughs> Easier to get up to Santa Wait by Christmas. Will do. You know, we could pad the Santa suit, Phil. You don't have to put your health at risk every year for the sake of authenticity. It's a risk I'm willing to take. <laughs> Mr. Bowers, thank you so much for having faith in me. I know the company's been through a lot in these last couple of years, and I'm really looking forward to accepting this challenge, this opportunity, this wonderful opportunity. Okay. Morning, Joanne. Oh, uh, morning, Ian. Go on in. He's waiting for you. Thank you. Mr. Bowers? Good morning. <laughs> Come on in. Have a seat. Thank you. <laughs> well, now. Ah. <sighs> and how long have you been with us, Mia? <laughs> well, I started part-time my sophomore year in high school and then bumped up to full-time and assistant manager and manager for the last three years. So in total, uh, about 10 years. 
And that is what I love to hear because this company is a community, Mia, built on the backs of loyal employees just like yourself. Which brings me to my point. Well, I realized when George retired, he left you with a bit of a mess, and that's not part of your job description to play CFO. I've just been doing the best that I could. You know, 40 years we were friends and colleagues, and George was sharp as a tack up until the last couple of... Uh, I, I'm sorry, I, I didn't notice sooner how much he was struggling. And then, uh, well, combined with the recession, the increased competition, well, you know how the sales have been. Well, the last two Christmases... We're soft. We didn't do enough business to put us in the black, and this year has not been promising. The bank has been breathing down my neck, and if I don't turn it around, this Christmas could be our last. Oh, that, that would be terrible. Yes. But we are not going down without a fight. Because we have someone to step up, make sense of the books, and put us right back on track. I am more than ready, Mr. Bowers. I, I have so many ideas. Wonderful, and I'm sure Nick would love to hear them. Nick? My pride and joy, my one and only son, a big shot business consultant in New York City, yeah. Princeton undergrad, Columbia MBA. He's coming here. <laughs> yeah, I'll admit it took some convincing. We haven't always seen eye to eye. But I got him to agree to come whip this place back into shape, and he gets in tomorrow. I'm sorry, Mr. Bowers, but I don't really understand. You know, if Nick's coming here to take over, what do you need from me? <laughs> I need you to, um, mentor him, show him the ropes. Nick hasn't been home much since high school. I mean, he's a shark when it comes to business, but I don't want him picking hats off to Christmas apart the way he does those companies on Wall Street. I mean, he should be on the floor meeting customers or, or in the warehouse um, dealing with orders. I want him to be part of this community. Right. People like you are the heart of this business, Mia. And if he's going to fill in George's shoes and ultimately mine, then Nick has to learn that part of the job as much as the bank statements and the invoices. And you will do great, like you always do. Well, thank you, Mr. Bowers, for having faith in me. And I look forward to accepting this challenge. Merry Christmas. I brought you a celebratory hot chocolate with whipped cream. Thank you, but there's nothing to celebrate. What? Come here. Hey, Terry, would you mind watching the front desk? Thank you. He didn't offer me the job. Well, no, he offered me a job, sort of. You lost me. I'm not moving into upper management, but I'm training the guy who is. Mr. Bauer's son. Nick? You know him? <laughs> yeah, of course I know him. The prodigal son of Hats Off to Christmas. He was a senior when I was a junior. He was the most popular guy in school, quarterback of the football team, homecoming and prom king. All the girls loved him. To be honest, I always thought he was really arrogant. And he's apparently some fancy financial consultant in New York City. And he doesn't even need the job, and I have to train him to be good at it. And have you considered sabotage? I cannot even believe you would say that. Oh, I'm just saying, all right? I mean, he's barely made it home since high school. Something tells me it wouldn't be too hard to run him back out of town. Ellie, you're bad. Hey, this was supposed to get done last night. Yeah, I know. Scotty, and to think I was going to make pancakes. I could eat pancakes. <laughs> I'm sure. Mom, we never have pancakes on weekdays. Well, I'm, uh, I'm a little nervous for today. I thought I deserved a treat. Why are you nervous? Well, I have a new boss. Or an employee. He's like a... It's like an employee boss. 
What's an employee boss? To tell you the truth, I don't know. Well, just try your best. That's what Dad would say, right? On an important day. Yeah, that is what your dad would have said. Hey, um, speaking of important days, I think you got a doctor's appointment next week, kiddo, right? Yeah. It's gonna go great. I know it. Since I'm going to the doctor's, can I have a special treat too? Sure, name it. You can have whatever you want. Well, these pancakes would be better with chocolate chips. Chocolate chips? Chocolate chips I can manage. Chocolate chips. Nick Bowers. Yes. I'm Mia Winters. Happy to see that you're here so early. We have a lot to do today. Great. Well, just show me to my office. I'll need copies of all the financials for the last four years. Uh, now make it five. Ah. Uh, Is there a problem? Kind of. I came here to do you a favor, Dad. Is it not so much to ask that you learn about the business in the flesh and not just on the paper? We're not some anonymous company, Nick. We are family. Um, well, now uh, that's settled. Um, Mia? Yes? Uh, why don't you show Nick around? Oh, uh, sure. Hi. Hi. Shall we? Look, Mia, is it? Yes. Can we just get through this absurdity as quickly as possible? I'm not here to play shop clerk. I have a real job to do. Oh, so you think I don't do a real job? No, no, that's not what I meant. Because, you know, if I didn't show up to open the store every day and sell Christmas hats and gift wrap and ornaments, there wouldn't be any money for you to count up and put on those spreadsheets you like to make. Well, apparently, there isn't. <sighs> OK, so? This is where we keep all of the inventory. Hey, Mia. Hey, Sam. Can the rumors be true? Nick Bowers. Hey, man. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> Sam Jones. Yeah, how are you? Mia, let me tell you, back in high school, this guy was the man. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah, well, so you stayed in Wilsonville. Yeah. What have you been up to? Well, you know, I'm warehouse foreman now, which is nice. I got a promotion a couple months ago. <laughs> it's great. Yeah. More importantly, do you remember Katie Felder? Um, Doesn't matter. She's Katie Jones now. <laughs> and they have three of the cutest girls you've ever seen. Wow. Great for you. Yeah. Well, shall we? Uh, hey, we'd love to have you over for dinner sometime. You know, we could throw the football around for old times, huh? Um, maybe. Uh, actually, um, I don't know how long I'm going to be in town. I'm kind of hoping to wrap things up as quickly as possible and get back to New York. Right. Sure, of course. I mean, hey, I mean, I bet New York's a really exciting place to live. It is. Well, uh, Mia here was just going to show me the ropes around the store in the warehouse. Great. Well, I won't keep you. It's, it's good seeing you, Nick. See ya. See ya, Sam. First order of business, you need to choose a hat. Excuse me? Store policy. All the employees must wear a Santa hat at all times in the store. Are they still doing that? <laughs> wear hats off to Christmas. It's not that shocking of a revelation. Besides, we have a hundred different styles for you to choose from. I'm sure you can find one in here that you wouldn't mind wearing. Yeah, well, I don't think um, you know, a Santa hat goes with my outfit. Yeah, that's the other thing. <sighs> You're way overdressed. You need to look friendly and approachable to customers. You look like you came from a GQ photo shoot. Should I take that as a compliment? <sighs> Very fetching. Let's get 
to work. Hi. Hey. Oh, you don't have to do dinner. I'll put some in together. Are you sure? Yeah. Thank you, Bill. Hello. How was your day? Well, Nick started today. And there's good news and bad news. The good news is he doesn't want to be here any more than I want him here. And the bad news? The bad news is he doesn't leave tomorrow. <laughs> Where's Scotty? Oh, he's uh, he's in the living room researching jack-o'-lantern designs for the annual pumpkin carving contest. <laughs> I was so bad at that. Yeah. <laughs> His dad always did that with him. Yeah. Yeah, I know. You took a two-hour lunch? I was lining up my next gig in New York. I had some phone calls to make before the day ended over there. Well, good. You can make it up to me, because I need to leave early today. You trust me in here all by myself? Considering your struggle to remember rule number one, that's a valid question. <laughs> oh, I can ring you up. <clears throat> That'll be 7.55, please. Thank you for shopping with us. What? What did I do wrong? You could be, I don't know, friendlier. Never Friendly. mind, forget it. I want to look at these inventory sheets with you. They're in this folder. It's all pretty basic stuff. The soft goods, meaning you know, hats, we manufacture here, and then we order a number of wholesale items just to round out all of our inventory. Have you ever considered a website? Yeah, actually, but your father... is a dinosaur. I guess there's probably a nicer way of putting that. Look, Mia, you run this place like a well-oiled machine. You know as well as I do that the brick-and-mortar sales model is a relic. Listen, I agree with you, okay? But your dad prides himself on the face-to-face -face contact with all of his customers. Good luck convincing him that he could still have a small-town feel with the national website. We won't have a small-town feel without a store either. What? Nothing. It's always Christmas here at Hats Off to Christmas. Oh, jeez. Sure, I'll head right over. I've got to run over to the office. Take a look at these sheets and let me know if you have any questions. Aye, aye, Captain. Always Christmas and hats off to Christmas. Nick speaking. No, no, no. We were not told that another banker had taken over our accounts. Oh, Mia. Oh, I just wanted to check in. So, uh, how are things going with Nick? Well, he's smart and capable, and he's polite with customers. We're making it work. I know he can be stubborn, but it's just always been my dream that he'd take over the company when I retire. Do you think that's what he wants? Not yet. I know he's always wanted everything bigger and better, the best university, a big city, a fancy car. Oh, well, that's my Nick. But I just think that if he sees this place from your perspective and really learns it from the inside out, then maybe he'll realize that we can be as viable a business as any of those big corporations he usually works for. Well, I'm doing everything I can. Oh, I know you will, Mia. Michael, Valerie Fry from the bank line, too. Oh, I'm gonna just... Hello, Valerie. Yes. Where is Nick? I don't know. The store was empty when I got here. You've got to be kidding me. And I'll leave you with that new bit of aggravation. I gotta go. Bye, Scotty. See you tomorrow. Bye, Ellie. 
See ya. Hey, kiddo. What do you have going on here? Oh, pumpkin carving ideas. Yeah, can make something really cool this year. I bet you will. Thanks for helping me with that. I mean, there's no problem. Why don't we just decide to leave the store unattended? Well, I don't know. That's my fault. I needed a hand with some heavy lifting. Hey, Scotty. Hey. Pumpkin carving research, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that time of year again. If you want to talk pumpkins, you should talk to this guy. He won that contest three years running. Really? Mm -hmm. Nick, this is my son, Scotty. Scotty, this is Nick. Your employee boss? <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, you have a doctor's appointment. I don't want to be late. Let's go. So, three years in a row. I think maybe you can help me with my pumpkin carving? Oh, honey, Nick is really busy. Uh, yeah, that's that's true. I'm I'm busy. But Sam said you were the best. I did say that. <laughs> and mom is really bad at it. <laughs> hey! <laughs> that's that's true. I am pretty awful at it, but you don't have to do that. No, no, it's all right. I, I, I think I can um I can find a little time to carve some pumpkins. Awesome. <laughs> Awesome. Great. Well, uh, we got to get to that doctor's appointment, so let's go. Uh, Halloween is next week, so. How about I see you this weekend? Great. Great. Come on, Mom. Um, kid, I'll meet you outside, all right? Look, <sighs> Scotty isn't like most nine year old little boys. It looks pretty normal to me, he just has a little additional hardware. Yeah. Thanks. All right, kiddo. You ready? It was really nice what you did, Nick. Oh, hey, it's no big deal. It is to a single mom and widow. What? I gotta get back to work. He doesn't seem to be getting any better. You know, after the accident, everyone... They expected a, a full recovery. Yeah. Well, look, I'm sure you've heard this all before, but in, in, in what we call a complete spinal injury, all function below the injured area is lost. Now, in an incomplete spinal injury, some or all function may be unaffected. Now, now Scotty's injuries appear to be incomplete. <laughs> the inflammation in his vertebrae is all but healed. And um, he has sensory function in his legs. We have every reason to believe that motor function will follow. Well, it's been 18 months. But you've taken him to physical therapy. How, how has he responded to that? He was miserable. You know, he says he can get used to life in the chair. But at the same time, he's tired of feeling like a failure because he's not walking again. Well, the process can be overwhelming, even for adults. Yeah, and I... You know, I just can't promise him that it's gonna get any better. With school, I can tell him, you know, study for this test and his grades will reflect that effort, but with this... Yeah. Look, I know, Mia, but looking at his medical history, it's entirely possible that Scotty's most debilitating injuries aren't physical, but emotional. I mean, he didn't just lose his ability to walk in that accident. He lost his father, too, didn't he? Yeah. My advice, as Scotty's doctor, would be to just take it easy right now. Take the pressure off of him. Just, just focus on having fun together. We can do that. Hey, what's happening here? I'm on time. I'm wearing my Santa hat, and I'm doing my job. I know, this makes no sense. <laughs> so, do you want to explain to me why you've taken all of the red hats off the shelves? Yeah, sure. Move them to the back. That's our number one selling hat. People come to the store just for that. Exactly. Oh, think about it. Grocery stores, they make you walk a mile to get to the milk of the eggs. You have to walk past the $5 boxes of cereal and the ice cream in hopes that some of those items may fall into your basket. Well, the same thing here. You see, we have to show the customers 
all of the inventory as they make their way to the red hats. Because if you get them by the door, well, then you've only sold one hat. But what you want is for the lady that comes in to buy the hat with her husband's favorite team logo on it. Or the purple hat with sequins that her teenage daughter will love. Exactly. And then you've sold three hats instead of one. Nick Bowers, you're absolutely right. Let's do it. Great. So, take these to the back. back. OK. You know what? You've been on such a roll. Why don't you go handle this customer? <sighs> Hello there. Welcome to Hats Off to Christmas. <laughs> Valerie. <laughs> Valerie Fry. Nick. <laughs> Nick, your dad told me you were working here, but I didn't believe it until I could see it with my own eyes. Wow. You look amazing. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm your relationship manager. Do I need one of those? I'm actually single. <laughs> I'm a banker. And when my boss found out that I grew up around here, he uh, agreed to let me take on your account. I didn't know a meeting was set. Uh, yeah, the hats off loan is up for review at the end of the year. And well, the way things have been going the last couple of years. I know, and that's why I'm here. You said up for review. Is this an audit? Are you planning on pulling my dad's line of credit? Well, we hope it doesn't get that far. I'm on your side, Nick. I know how important this place is to the whole town. And if anyone can help to turn this place around, it's you. Uh, well, I um, have been a little waylaid trying to learn this place from the ground up. <laughs> Come on in. Uh, oh, this is Mia Winters. Mia, this is Valerie Fry. We were friends in high school. I'd say we were a little more than friends. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Hmm? Oh, yes, you too. Uh, Nick, I have a meeting with your father. And I assume once you're done unpacking hats and get back into the books, we'll be spending a lot more time together. Yeah. Oh, Nick. Huh? I'm glad to hear you're single. What's next, boss? You know, I, I think we're probably done here. Are you sure? I don't mind. Yeah, no, your dad wanted you to experience the store, and you did, so you should probably get back to the work that you came here to do anyway, right? OK. Video games upstairs? Oh, uh, yeah, I said he could play if he finished his homework. Which he has not been doing at all recently. Sorry. What did Nick do today? Nothing. <laughs> nothing. Actually, no, not nothing. He reorganized the floor design, and he actually had some pretty good ideas. So what, you actually like working with him, then? Didn't say that. But it doesn't matter anyway. I mean. I relieved him of his Santa hat duties today. You know, he didn't come here to work in the store. He came here to pick up where the retired CFO left off. Plus, I know he's dying to get back to New York, and I'm not going to stand in his way. So. I can't wait to see it. I'm sure it's going to be great. I'll get it. Thank you. Hey, buddy. You ready to carve an award-winning pumpkin? Totally. Great. Hey. Hey, Mia. You gonna help us? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> She's really bad at it. <laughs> oh. Scotty, jeez. No, I'm good at other things, like making cookies, which you won't be getting any of if you keep picking on your poor old mom. Sorry. <laughs> What's this about cookies? Get your finger out of the bowl. What are you doing? Mm, you know, you're right. You are good at that. <laughs> Scotty, leave her alone. She's baking. 
So I put a tarp out there and all the tools you guys are going to need. Great. Have fun. You got that? It's heavy. This way. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm Bye, coming. guys. See ya. You guys are already done? I was about to bring you a snack. It looks great, Mom. Well, I can't wait to see it. No, not not until the contest. We want it to be a surprise. Okay. Also, it's not time to see the pumpkin. It's cookie eating time. <laughs> <laughs> Serious? What? They're Christmas cookie cutters from the shop. Mm. And you guys are getting pumpkin all over my floor. Oh, sorry. Throw that in the wash? Oh, no, that's fine. Thanks. I'm putting a load of laundry in now. It's not a problem. All right. Thanks. So are you going to be coming to the contest? Sure, bud. When is it? After school, the day before Halloween. I don't think I can make that work. <laughs> so tell me, what kind of stuff do you like to do? I like video games, movies, making model airplanes, and, uh, I used to like sports a lot, football mostly. Hey, I was the quarterback on my high school team. We should throw the ball around sometime. What? You only like watching football? Nick. Well, I know, but... Well, your arms work, right? Well, I need your arms to throw the ball and to catch, which is about half of football. And you also need your arms to reach for cookies. <laughs> 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 I think you can toss the ball around. Cheers. <laughs> so, Betty, you know by keeping this covered up makes it a lot harder on me to move around, right? Um, I want you to see it at the big reveal with everyone else. Please. Okay, fine but only because I love you more than anything in the whole world. Please don't say that in front of everyone at the contest. It'd be so embarrassing. <laughs> OK, deal. Let me get that. We're here. Are you excited? Yeah. You think Nick is here yet? Let's go see. Kiddo, your pumpkin's out there, and the judges are about to start. Mom, did you? I didn't look, I swear. I made it! Oh, oh it look who's here! Yeah! I can't wait to see your creation. Thanks for coming, Ellie. Yeah. Now all we have to do is wait for Nick. Yeah. Nick, he should be here any minute. Can you pass me the quarterly reports for last year? Val, listen, if your bank doesn't renew our loan, you're going to put all these people we grew up with out of work. I'm not here to give charity, Nick. I have a job to do. I mean, you know. You dismantle companies, sell them, whatever makes the most financial sense. Yeah. I just can't believe my dad let this go on this long. I mean, another few years of this, and George would run this whole business into the ground. Most small-town businesses are more interested in making friends than making money. And without shareholders, there's no accountability for management. Not exactly a Fortune 500 mentality. Aren't you so glad you got out of here? Yeah, I think so. You think so? Well, you know, being back really hasn't been as bad as I thought it would be. Oh, come on. I know what you do for a living. This must be child's play to you. Aren't you so bored? Mm, 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 mm. Uh, kiddo, look, I I've called him a bunch of times. I I'm sure there's a really good reason as to why he's not here. Yeah, he's probably stuck at work. Mm. They're about to announce the winners. Come on, let's go get a good view up front. 
Welcome, everyone. Welcome to the 39th annual Wilsonville Pumpkin Carving Contest. After much deliberation, we are finally ready to announce the winners. Oh, thank you all for these wonderful entries. And now, to announce our winners. We have five honorable mentions, and they will have certificates placed by their pumpkins. As for the top three entries, here we go. In third place is Seth Norton with his haunted graveyard pumpkin. <laughs> In second place is Dee Henstrom with her witch pumpkin. <laughs> And the grand prize winner is Scotty Winters with his Santa Hat Pumpkin. That is the most beautiful pumpkin I have ever seen. Yeah. This was such a good surprise. Thank you. Scotty, I gotta go, okay? But I'm so glad I got to see your pumpkin. It's awesome. <laughs> You're part of Wilsonville history now, you know? <laughs> All right, so I will see you tomorrow after school, and I will see you tomorrow after work. Yeah. Okay, bye, guys. Come on up, winners. Come up and get your ribbons. <laughs> We need a break. Drinks? Dinner? I think it's about time you and I finally caught up. All we've talked about is this company's financial statements. I know, Val, but I can't. Not today. I've got this thing this afternoon. Oh, no. Oh. What? Oh, no. She's gonna... Oh. Oh, she's, she's gonna hate me. Who is? I'll see you tomorrow, okay, Val? I'm sorry. I really don't think he's coming. I'm gonna go tell her bye, okay? He's here! Sky. Bud, you won! Congratulations! <laughs> we won. I, I just supervised. It was all you. But it was your idea so you used to light up Santa hat. Yeah, that was my idea. Hey, I got a big favor to ask you. Do you think you would be able to lend that award-winning pumpkin to the store? Okay, why? Because every time I won this competition, my dad put the pumpkin in the store window. And now it's time for your award-winning pumpkin to take its rightful place. What do you say? Awesome, sure. Great. I'm gonna talk to your mom for a second, right? No, I was knee-deep in quarterly reports and invoices, and I just lost track of time. I wanted to be here for Scotty. Why? What, what do you mean? Why what? do you want to be here for Scotty? I know why I want to be here for him. I'm his mother. And from the minute that he was born, all I cared about in this world was his happiness. And tomorrow, and next week, and next month, it's me that's going to continue to care. You're not even going to be here. Why are you bothering now? Yeah, I just... No. That little boy has suffered more loss in his nine years than most people do in their entire life. He doesn't need to get attached to somebody that's gonna let him down. You're right. Believe me, I, I, I never meant to hurt him. I know. It's really not your fault. It's not. You're not a small town <sighs> pumpkin carving contest type of guy anymore. And from what I heard, you never really were. You're here to do a job, and you're going back to New York. Just <sighs> leave us with our little Wilsonville life, okay? Kiddo, we gotta get home. Say goodbye. Bye, Nick. 
Maybe we can throw around the football next week. Yeah. See you, Scotty. Hey, so um, can I borrow your car today? I have to bring mine into the shop. Oh, yeah, of course. I'll pick you up after work. OK, perfect. Here. Thank you. So? So? So you haven't mentioned Nick since the pumpkin carving contest. If I Hey, I have been trying to give you your space, but enough is enough already. What's the deal? There's no deal, Elle. What? So it's not so awkward, awkward then? I mean, you yelled at him. <laughs> OK, first of all, I did not yell at him. And no, it's not awkward at all. Plus, he spends most of his time in the conference room. I, I barely see him. So you don't miss him at all, then? Do I miss him? Like, Ellie, what are you talking about? Mia, I'm just saying that you only get really angry with someone if you're disappointed with them. And that only happens if you liked them in the first place and had expectations that they didn't meet. OK, have you been studying for your psychology degree in your spare time? Like, please, Ellie. I had no expectations of Nick Bowers, except for that he was going to be stuck up and self-centered and a pain in the butt, which he was. You know, and it's great, because now I don't have to manage the store and Nick. And he gets to do the work that he really likes. And pretty soon, he's going to leave town, and this is all going to be over. OK. See you after work. Hey, Dad. You look like you need to get out of here. Get up and move around a little. <laughs> I just got in 20 minutes ago. Yes, but you've been sitting in this room for a month. Yeah, you're right. <sighs> I guess I could use a break. What'd you have in mind? Actually, I could use your help with something. Dad. Joanne. Call down to the warehouse, get those guys to bring that thing up. Sure thing. Dad, what are we doing? <laughs> You'll see. Good morning, Mia. Uh, morning, Mr. Bowers. Nick? Well, uh, Black Friday is looming, and we don't have our window ready. Yes, I'm sorry I've been so focused on those invoices. I can see that. So to help you out, I took it upon myself to create a little design for you two to execute. Dad, I, I really have other things I need to get done. Deep. Mrs. Claus, <laughs> at the North Pole. Outside, at a clothesline, drying our hats. The wind is blowing. We use a fan, a little fake snow in the air, hats from one end to the other, clothes pinned to the line. Uh, we, we can display half of the inventory. Sounds wonderful, Mr. Bowers, but what do you want me to use as Mrs. Claus? Ah, uh, here comes the fine lady herself. <laughs> I had her ordered. Well, thank you, Dan. You can just set her down right there. OK, you two. I want to see the most impressive Christmas window in the history of the store. So get cracking. Mr. Bowers, I am more than capable of doing this myself. Yeah, Dad, I thought you said I was done working in the store. It's a big idea, Mia. And this Mrs. Claus isn't stuffed with styrofoam peanuts. She's heavy, and you'll need some help. And Nick, you need to do something that doesn't involve a spreadsheet for a couple of hours. May as well be this. Mr. Bowers. Dad. Have fun. <laughs> Let's just get this over with. Sure. All right. I'll just brace it with this. It's going to be strong enough. I only have to hold up a few hats. All right. OK. This is done. Do you want to bring Mrs. Claus over? Sure. <laughs> what? 
Nothing. I love how I came here to use my MBA, and all I've been doing is manual labor. Isn't that why your dad wanted you to come here? I don't know why my dad asked me to come here. <sighs> this is Claus. I don't mean to be rude, but how many of your husband's cookies have you been eating? <laughs> to say it, but I think this might be your father's best idea. Huh. Yeah, my dad does have some pretty great ideas. Better watch out. He's going to put you in charge of planning the Christmas party. You know that's when he really outdoes himself. Bring it on. <laughs> I'm going to move this up. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <sighs> I'm so oh. sorry. I've destroyed everything. <laughs> Let's just fix it tomorrow. I, uh, I know it's getting late. You probably have to get home to Scotty. Actually, Scotty is at Jonah's house. He's working on a science project. Oh, OK. Well, can I invite you to dinner? <laughs> I don't know. Come on, Mia. I'm not such a bad guy. Hey, you two. Sam. Hey, Sam. How are ya? I'm good, thanks. You wanna join us? Oh, you know, I'd love to. Um, I just wanna come say hi. I'm with the girls. Aw. <laughs> Beautiful kid, Sam. Thanks, man. So is Katie here? Uh, no, she's, uh, she's, she's home tonight. It's kind of a daddy-daughter triple date thing, so. Great. <laughs> Do you have any recommendations? Uh, not unless you wanna eat off Dad. the kids' menu. <laughs> right! <laughs> All right, you guys enjoy your food. All right, see ya. Wow. Sam seems really happy. Well, yeah, but, you know. What? Oh, you don't know. Um, Katie's pregnant with their fourth. They've, they've been trying for a boy. But she's had a lot of complications with this one, and she, she's actually been on bed rest since her second trimester. She had to take unpaid leave from her job. You know, I'm, I'm sure everything's going to be fine, but they're, they're struggling a little right now. I had no idea. So how's Scotty been doing after the loss of his dad? He's, uh, he's been doing okay. You know, it's, it's been 18 months. Scotty's such a good kid. <laughs> yeah, he is, isn't he? You're doing a great job with him. He seems to be adjusting really well. Thank you. Although, I don't, I don't know if that's really true. I think he's pretty scared. I get it. I was terrified when my mom passed away. When I was a freshman in college. That's right, you lost your mom too. I, I forgot about that. I'm sorry. We were close. I still miss her. Most of all, she was my interpreter. <laughs> she was your what? My interpreter. <laughs> your interpreter, what does that mean? Between my dad and I, we never really saw eye to eye, so. You know, Nick, for what it's worth, your dad loves his company, but he definitely loves you more. It's in case you ever wondered that. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I'm sorry, it's Jonah's mom. I should probably check and just make sure everything's okay. Of course. I'll be right back. Yeah. Hi, uh, can I get the check, please? I can just put it on that. And uh, can I cover his table as well? 
Is everything okay? Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, great. I'm gonna be home soon. Awesome, I appreciate that. Thank you. Bye. Hi. Sorry about that. Everything's fine. The boys just wanted to stop for some ice cream on the way home. They're gonna drop them off. Okay, great. Well, can I give you a ride? Um, Ellie was actually gonna pick me up, but if you don't mind, sure. Did we get two bills? Oh, it's all good. Okay. Thank you for dinner. It was my pleasure. Have a really nice time. Yeah, me too. <laughs> seeing you again. Yeah, you too. Do you think we might be able to do that some other time? Uh, hey, Nick. Uh, Scotty. <laughs> Is the chair in the back? I'll grab it. Thank you. Thank you for dropping him off. I appreciate that. Ooh, is that your car, Nick? Yes, that is my car, Scotty. Oh, you got him? Yep. There we go. Ah, perfect. Can we go for a ride? Oh, kiddo, it's past your bedtime. <laughs> Does it have a different engine than most cars do? How fast can it go? <laughs> well, it's got a 3.6 liter, six speed, 315 horsepower, zero to 60 in five seconds, and it goes up to 180 miles an hour, which I have never done, because that would be illegal and very unsafe. I wish we could get my car to go that fast. Oh, I don't. <laughs> your car? Oh, my soapbox derby car. You know they do the soapbox derby race every year at Christmas time. Oh, you won that contest three years in a row too, right? Hang on a second. When did they start this? They didn't do that when we were kids. You could help me. I have to build my car from scratch. Scotty, I would love to help you build your go-kart. <clears throat> Except, I don't know if I should. I don't think your mom wants me to. Mom, don't worry. We can't make it go 108 miles an hour. <laughs> no, it's. It's fine if Nick wants to help. I just want to make sure that Nick has the time. I have the time, and I won't be late. Awesome. <laughs> OK, I think we've had enough sugar and excitement for one night. You need to get up to bed. Get dressed. I'll be up in a minute, OK? Night, Nick. Are you sure <sighs> you're OK with this? Yeah, I'm, you know what? He actually really needs the excitement and a little distraction right now. I just want to make sure. I know. Okay. Night, Mia. Night. Someone ace Yeah. Oh, well, hello. Mia. Uh, hey, Mom. <laughs> Hope you don't mind me just stopping by, but I had a bunch of great ideas, and we only have a couple of weeks to finish this thing. Not at all. This is great. I love this. You guys must be getting hungry from all this hard work. Would you like to stay for dinner? Oh, I'd love to, but uh, I'm booked. Valerie Fry, our banker, wanted to go over some things and meeting her for dinner. Yes, Valerie. She's nice. Are you okay? I'm, I'm great. I'm great. I'm just gonna whip up something for Scotty and I because we have a business date. Dinner. You have a business dinner. Here's a business dinner. I'll see you soon. Okay. Mia. Could have went better.
You know, part of me thinks we can open more stores to increase revenue. Of course. But I must admit that my father's pride and joy in being the only store makes sense to me. You see, our store is a destination. People get off the highway on their way to somewhere else to stop in the town with a huge Santa hat store. I think that counts for something. Nick, your dad has already tried to sell me on the nostalgic elements of this place. But nostalgia doesn't pay off bank loans. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying, I don't think we need to get rid of all the personality and history out of Hats Off in order to increase revenue. We can build on that personality and history. Mm-hmm. You know, you should really talk to Mia. She's got a lot of great ideas, and she gets the heart of this place. But unlike my father, she's open to modernization. This is a warehouse where the magic happens. Uh-huh. <laughs> Mia, hi. Hi. What are you doing? <sighs> Oh, we have warehouse guys that do that job? Well, they do all the bigger stuff, but I try to take care of the smaller things. You remember Mallory? I was just showing her the warehouse. Hi. Yeah, it's it's nice to see you again. Maya. Hi there. Mia. Mia. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was just telling Valerie here about some of your ideas to bring hats off into the 21st century without sacrificing the charm. Oh, yeah. Thank you. So, what are you doing? Nick, I'm just, I'm just, uh, filling boxes. Can I try? You, you want to pack boxes? Yes, I want to try. <laughs> OK. Do, do you mind? No. Nick, I'm going to head back upstairs. All I'll right. do some work. Yeah. I'll see you up there. Sure. See ya. <laughs> it's got to be a man's job. You're lucky I'm not making wear a Santa hat. <laughs> so, you do the bottom layer. OK. Then you pack whatever the marked merchandise is that goes in this one. All right. And then you fill another layer, and ta-da. Great. And you fill the box. Ta-da. I got it. <laughs> OK. That one's almost done. You might want to do just a little bit more, and then okay. you do this one. No problem. OK. Stop, stop. Oh. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I got it. I got it. OK. Nick, you know, when you got here, I thought what? that you were just so cool. But I'm going to get back to the store. I'll see if Sam can help uh, us with this. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I hear my name? I have to get back to the store with yeah. this box, actually. Mm. But I just... I'm just sorry to leave you with this. No, it's cool. It's my job. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You took my kids to dinner the other night. I appreciate that. This is fine. Let me take this on for you. No, about dinner, no problem. That's what old friends are for, right? <laughs> right. Speaking of old times, I was hoping we can toss the ball around sometime. That if would that's be great. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Great. Perfect. Great. If I get this done, <laughs> ever. Oh man. Nice. That's a big pile. I can't believe I agreed to this. Oh, no, Thanksgiving last year was sad, but this, this is awesome. I mean, look how happy Scotty looks. All right, Scotty, you're the QB. You ready? Okay. Let's get this game going. Blue 42. Hop, hop, hop. Oh, oh, oh. Hands up, hands up. Oh. Oh. If you're not going to fall right in love with him, can I? Ellie, you have to stop. He's leaving. All right, then. He likes the big fancy types, you know? You could get a little fancy if you want me. Oh, you think I can get a little fancy? I know you can get fancy. <laughs> One, two, three, go! Good ah, job! Go, Scotty! Ah. Ah. Oh, 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 yeah. You want to play? Uh, okay. All right. All right, you want to play? Out. I kind of want to play. All right, it's all done. I'll play. Okay, guys, I think we're playing on that. All right, come on in here. All right, we're going to try a running play. Running play? Are you ready for this I running back? You can't do a running play, Nick. That makes no sense. Just okay, trust me. Ellie. Ready? Watch your back. All right. Ready? And. Hey! Get her! Oh! Come on, hands up! Go! 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 Go!
You ready? Mom. It's a soapbox derby. You didn't have to get so well dressed. <laughs> Actually, I think she looks perfect. All right. You ready to go? Race is about to begin. Remember what I told you. Good luck. Thanks, Nick. You ready, honey? Yeah. Put your seatbelt on. You put a seatbelt in there? Of course. And you can't see it, but his legs are cushioned with pillows and, believe it or not, bubble wrap. So if there was any kind of a crash, he'd be OK. Wow. Oh, and I did a lot of research on how to make the thing really fast. Nick! But then I chose not to employ any of those ideas. He doesn't have to win every competition. <laughs> you got to keep the kid humble. I want you to be OK. Thank you. for Scotty, but he does have a good point. You are a tiny bit overdressed. <laughs> but you know, if you uh, wanted to get dressed up again, say maybe next Friday night, I think we could find an appropriate place to take that dress. Day, kiddo. Thanks, Mom. It felt awesome. Hey, you know, maybe to celebrate, you want to go have a sleepover at Jonah's on Friday. Sure. But what are you going to do? I think Mom's going to go have dinner at a restaurant. Speaking of dinner, you must be getting hungry. What do you feel like? Mom? Yeah? I felt really strong today. Like I could do anything if I wasn't in this wheelchair. I think... I think I'm ready to try again. To walk. Can I... Can I go back to physical therapy? Kiddo, I am so happy to hear you say that. Yes, I will call the doctor first thing tomorrow morning. We'll get you an appointment for next week, okay? Okay. Because then me and Nick can do more fun stuff. I love you. food order for the Christmas party? Yes, but you still have to choose the desserts. Desserts? Hi, Mr. Bowers, Joanne. Oh, hello, Mia. Uh, to what do we owe this honor? I'm going to see Nick. Very good. Valerie, I'm reluctant to suggest those measures. It's just not how I want to handle things. If I must, the quickest way to improve revenue is to reduce employee benefits. If we paid less into the health care program... Absolutely. 
We could save the company tens of thousands a year. It might also be possible to cut staff. The warehouse and stockroom group could handle a downsizing without a significant delay in order delivery. Think of it this way, Nick. The faster you get things in shape here, the faster you can go back to New York. In your real life. Yeah. Oh, I'm in. You know, my bank has an office in Manhattan. For once, it might be nice to hang out for pleasure rather than work. Yeah, Val, that sounds good. Can we just work on finishing the business plan? Oh, sure. Great. Your bank has been with the Hats Off family since the company's start. They should know we're good for the money. Just need some time to restructure, get the online business up, maybe work on some better advertising and marketing. We? The Hats Off family? What can I say? This place is growing on me. Some good stuff and people here. Nope. Speaking of which, I gotta go. Excuse me. Good night, Dad. Come on. Uh, son, have you uh, talked to Mia? I'm actually going to see her right now. Mia, hi. You all right? Nick, how could you? What do you mean? What did I do? No, I, I know you've had fun goofing off with Scotty. Goofing off? But he needs a consistent male role model in his life. He needs somebody that he can look up to. He's had enough struggle and disappointment he doesn't need anymore. I didn't mean to disappoint him or you. What did I do wrong? We're just different. You belong in New York, and I'm sure you're dying to get back there. Actually, I've been thinking. I... And you know, you're not part of our family. It's not right for you to pretend like you are. It, uh, turns out they got canceled. I still have the reservation. You hungry? You know, I almost went to Columbia for my MBA. We could have reconnected years ago. But I didn't think I could handle the winters there, so I went to Stanford. Mm. Actually, one of my best friends from business school has this phenomenal house in East Hampton. She's been begging me to come up this summer. Perhaps you could join us. Yeah. If I wanted to have dinner alone, I could have done that. Val, no, I'm... Uh, I'm sorry. This probably wasn't such a great idea. This is a very romantic restaurant, Nick. Who is this reservation intended for? Mia, the store manager. Huh. Interesting. I mean, you two did look a little chummy the other day. But I never would have thought a small town girl would be your type. Hey. Hey, aren't you supposed to be on your big date? I can't work at Hats Off at Christmas anymore. Well, why? <sighs> Nick is cutting benefits. And right before Scott, he's ready to go into physical therapy again. Well, I have to leave the company. <laughs> will you get me an interview with your boss? Yeah. Y yeah, yeah, of course I will. Hey, okay. That's gonna be okay. Val, I'm, I'm really sorry if I led you on. I'm going to make this easier. I'm recommending that the bank maintain your current line of credit. Really? That, 
That is great news. Providing you have an ongoing management role. You've really brought a fresh, modern competence level of leadership to the company. I trust you. The bank trusts you. We'll even extend hats off a small additional loan to help build up the online business. <laughs> There'll be a review in a year to see how well you're using it. But I'm sure you can make this business work. Nick, this is where you belong. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Guys, listen up. Christmas is just around the corner, which means we're down to rush orders. OK, I need to get the truck loaded ASAP. And could someone please get down a pallet of size okay. three shipping boxes? So, I'm on it, Sam. Thank you, Phil. Yeah. It's always Christmas here at Hats Off to Christmas. Mia speaking. Yeah, we have those in stock. Come on by. was your mother's domain, but... <laughs> Dad. <sighs> Here, you don't look so good. Phil fell off a ladder in the stock room. What? Oh, no, what happened? It looks worse than it is. This is what happens when you fall. It's just precaution. Oh, well, good thing he has insurance. Uh, even if he's fine, he'll need some time to rest up. Christmas parties in three days. I don't think we'll have a Santa. Well, you used to do it, boss. Why not just throw it on for old time's sake? Well, I did always enjoy donning the old red. <laughs> <laughs> with all due respect, Mr. Bowers, you're going to get half the kids in town sick with that cold. Oh, Mia's right. It wouldn't be responsible. You think you can do it, Sam? Oh, sir, you know I'd love to, but I have to watch my girls at the party. But I tell you, I would pay money to see Nick put that suit on. No, no, I'm, I'm definitely not the right person for the job. Agreed. Sorry, um, I'm gonna just get back to work. Yeah, come on, back to work, guys. We need to finish. Sean, come and take a walk with me. Uh, See you, Dad. Thanks. Hey, how you doing? Ah, I'm relieved about the loan. Oh, oh, me too. Nick, you know how proud I am of you, right? Uh, come on, you don't have to say that, Dad. I know you've never really approved of my decisions. You're right, but that's just because I want you here with me, with, with the company. I always thought it'd be really special to work side by side with my one and only son and then one day pass my legacy on to you. But I realize now I was wrong. But playing Santa, son, that is just a wonderful experience, making all those people and all those kids happy. There's nothing like it, so just do it for the favor. Put the suit on for the Christmas party. You can consider it your, your last hurrah. I, I spoke to Valerie. As long as you check in on a monthly basis, uh, you don't need to be here full time. I'll stop pushing my dream on you, and you can go live your life the way you want to. Dad? Yes, son? I don't know how I want to live my life anymore. Party? Nick will be there, right? Yeah, uh, Nick will be there. 
I think tomorrow's gonna be a lot of fun. Do you wanna go get dressed and I'll finish making your breakfast? Sure, Mom. <laughs> Hey, Dad. I think you need to see this. Dear Mr. Bowers, I want to thank you for the last 10 years of employment. I've come to the conclusion that it is time for me to move on to new endeavors. It is with great regret that I must tender my resignation. Sincerely, Mia Winters. <laughs> well, I think we can do that. Who's next? Come on. Come on, everyone. Gather in. Come on, it's Christmas. <laughs> I want to thank everyone. Thank you for joining us uh, for the annual Christmas party. Thank you for your hard work all year long. Uh, I know it's been a rough year for some of you, but I appreciate the effort and the love that you put in your jobs. The hats off to Christmas is uh, a community. Uh, no, it's, it's more than a community. It, it is family. <laughs> And families are, are always changing. Uh, I've been running this company for the past 40 years, and I have, um, <laughs> I've loved every minute of it. But uh, the time has come for me to step aside. Um, my son, Nick, who uh, many of you know, couldn't be here today. <laughs> but when he comes back, I'll be stepping into my new role as chairman of the board, and Nick will be taking over as uh, president and CEO. And if anybody can juggle at all, it's Nick. <laughs> However, to be fair, his acceptance of his new post is contingent upon promoting a certain store manager to the newly created position of vice president of sales and marketing. <laughs> and uh, lastly, I've decided this is truly a family company. It should be shared among its members. Your bonuses this year will be in the form of shares of the company stock. <laughs> You're all about to become part owners of Hats off to Christmas. <laughs> okay. And don't forget to ask Santa for your Christmas wish before he's got to head back to the North Pole. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, son. Thanks, Dad. All right, who's first? <laughs> Come on up here, young man. Can I go ask Santa for my Christmas wish? Of course, kiddo. Come on. I'm gonna be right here. Hi, Santa. Well, hello there, Scotty. You know my name? Well, of course I know your name. I know the name of every girl and boy, especially the ones who are very, very good. <laughs> What's your biggest Christmas wish? Well, I actually have two Christmas wishes. Is that all right? That's most certainly all right, Scotty. My first one is actually for my mom. 
I want her to get back together with her boyfriend. Well, I didn't realize your mother had a boyfriend, Scott. Well, she never actually really called him that. But if you love someone, doesn't that just make them your boyfriend? My mom was really sad after my dad died. And being with Nick made her feel better. So shouldn't that just mean that they should be together? Well, Santa sure thinks so. But you're going to have to let your mom and Nick work that out on their own. But I can assure you, and your mom, that that's Nick's biggest wish as well. Now, Scotty, tell me, what's your Christmas wish? Well, I'm not really sure if you can grant my second wish. I think it's something I have to do all by myself. What's that? Well, I just... Can I sit down now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Careful. Kiddo, I'm so proud of you. Right. How do you feel? Are, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay, Mom. You don't have to worry about me so much now. I think you can make up with Nick now. But, but I'm Santa. Santa. Come on, guys. I know who you are. Uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> I think we just witnessed an actual Christmas miracle. It is a profound thing when you realize that your kid is wiser than you are. <laughs> hey, you wouldn't happen to be granting Christmas wishes still, would you? <laughs> of course, young lady. <laughs> <laughs> what is your biggest Christmas wish? <laughs> well, then I think I'm going to follow in my son's footsteps make one of my own dreams come true.